All right, I want to discuss how to reduce square roots. I have two square roots up here, the square root of 32 and the square root of 150. So one way to reduce the square roots is to figure out what squares are in them. So to do this, I'm going to make a factor tree. Doesn't matter how you start your factor tree, we're all going to get down to the same final answer. So 32, I'm going to think about two things that multiply together to give me 32. So one possible answer is 2 and 16. 2 is a prime number, 16 is not, so I'm going to keep going. 16 is 2 times 8. 8 is 2 times 4, and 4 is 2 times 2. I'm dealing with the square root, so I'm going to want to pair my numbers together. I have a silly story to help us remember that. If you think about your socks doing laundry and washing and then folding them, when you take them out of the laundry, you take two socks that match and you pair them together and you fold them over so you get your nice pair. And they are going to leave our laundry basket, so they're going to go on the outside. We have another pair of socks, pairs two. They're going to go, that one pair, because we fold our socks over together and make a one pair, it's going to go on the outside. And then we're left with this sock that doesn't have a partner, so it has to go back in our laundry basket. So it's four square roots of two. Another way to think about this problem is to go back and look at this step right here. We have two times 16. So the square root of 32 is the square root of two times 16. But I know that the square root of 16 is just four because it's a perfect square. So I could write this as four square roots of two. The same answer that I got above. Let's do the same thing with the square root of 150. Again, I'll work it both ways. The first way is to make my factor tree. So 150 might be broken down into 10 times 15. 10 is 2 times 5, and 15 is 5 times 3. Now the pair that I'm removing are fives, so which would be the same. You want your same color socks. You want two black socks. You don't want a black and a blue sock when you go outside. So this pair of socks is going to go on the outside. And these two numbers cannot be pairs because they're not the same. One's a two and one's a three. They're going to go on the inside, back into my laundry basket. So I get five square roots of six. Another way to think about this is to say the square root of 150 is the same thing as the square root of 25 times 6, because 25 times 6 is 150. Well, I know what the square root of 25 is. It's a perfect square. So I get 5 square roots of 6. We basically need to find these perfect squares. The little sock method finds the perfect squares for us if we can't, or if we already know the perfect square, then we don't have to worry about making the factor true. It'll go a little bit quicker. But if you don't know what your perfect square method is, you can always do my sock method.